Now, tell me about your symptoms before the surgery. How was your life? What did happen? I had no life. Yeah. I was in so much pain, and it started really affecting me at work. Yeah. And I went from being able to work eight hours a day down to maybe four. Okay. And... And how long did you have those symptoms? I've had them for 30 years. But it was getting really bad in the last few years, right? Yeah, the last four years. Oh, yeah. And once again, how bad was it? And Pretty severe. Both in the back and the legs, right? Yes. I would go home. I mean, when I was at work, my pain level would be a 10 plus. Yeah. And, I, and along the way, you told me you saw many other surgeons and doctors and mm -hmm. so on. What was their solution for you? Nothing. Live with it. Live with it. Live with it. And one doctor told me eventually you'll end up in a wheelchair. Yeah. So what did we do different? How, how did we find out that what the problem was? You did some injections to find out nerve problems. Yeah. And we did some specific tests to mm -hmm. find out if those discs are causing a problem because your symptoms were very suggestive of the problem of the bottom two discs. You had the compassion. Thank you, I appreciate I it. I had waited <coughs> for 30 years to find somebody yeah. but who would help me. Yeah, I think as well, it's certainly compassion is a big part of it, but as well we have protocols that right. you know, we don't let any stone unturned until we figure out, we take the symptoms seriously. Based on your symptoms, our suggestion was that the bottom two discs are causing the problem, mm -hmm. and we investigated them, and then we saw that the, that was the problem, and about a month ago, we did a surgery that I'm looking at my record, took us 48 minutes, and we had uh, about 95 cc of blood loss, and how long did you stay in the hospital? Two days. Two days? Two days, okay, and then, so, and you, you had actually that nerve irritation that we talked about before the surgery, you had it, and at first that was bad, but is that gone now, that nerve That's irritation? That's all gone. Yeah, it's finally subsided, thank okay. you, Jesus. So how, how are you now? How is the pain? I'm good. So the pain that you had in the leg, is, mm -hmm. it, is that how is that now? That's gone. That's gone. After thirty years, and that. Uh, it's gone. It's the gone. numbness that I, you know, have had for thirty years, that's all gone. And the back pain? The back pain's gone. Mine so is you still have some surgical pain and yeah, some, with certain yeah. activity, but right. the pain you had before the surgery it's, that everybody told you go live with it yeah, is gone it's after all that gone. surgery that's for it was forty eight minutes. Yeah. So I, I think that pretty good result. Obviously we still have to give it time for the bone to heal because even though we know that after the open surgery it takes about a year for the bone to grow, and after our surgery we don't disturb the muscle. Bone actually grows much, much faster, but still, you have to give it a little more than just one month. Right. But I think we are on a very good path. And I examined your legs, your strength is full, so I'm pretty happy. And then we looked at the films, everything is in a perfect position. Do you have any question, any comment, anything else? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank okay? you so much. Thank you.